Hello and welcome once again. Today I'm going to show you how I made this little bunny. It's Easter time is coming up and so I designed this myself. So this is a little sketch I did before getting into the project. And it's the front pose and a bit of a side pose. So I know what shape I'm going to make. So let's get started. Rolled some wool. I'm using corridor slivers for the core and it fells really fast and it's easier to work with. So I'm roughly going to make the shape I need and have to felt it fairly firm and you have to keep rotating it so you're not felting on just one side so just keep rolling it and you always start from less than you need because you can always add more wool to it so this is the head I'm making it into a kind of a ball shape and I'm going to shape it further keep adding wool if I need to just seeing where the eyes will go and where the mouth will be I'm shaping it a bit with the needle Here I'm attaching eyes, got plastic eyes, they're about 5mm and I've just put some glue at the tip of them and then push them in, made holes with an owl or the skewer if you have one and now I'm going to add more wool to it and shape the head I really love making bunnies. I've made loads of different shapes and sizes and just wanted to go for something cuter this time. So I'm just adding more wool and shaping it as I go along. Filtering around the eyes, making eyelids. You can add little shreds of wool. As I've added the big chunk on top, trying to get the eyelids from there. And now I'm adding more cheeks. You can felt them down a bit and then attach them. So I'm attaching the cheeks.
Now you can see the face is coming into shape. So we've got it. A snout. Now I've used five cleaners for the body. Just folded one right from the middle and just twisted it around. Seeing how much I need of the body. And then I'm turning the edges so the sharp ends are not sticking out, just folding them in. So I've got two legs. Those are the feet and I'm going to make the arms. So this is half of the pipe cleaner. Just twisting it both ways to get the arms attached. And again holding in the sharp edges. So I folded them in to see how much I need. Because the arms are going to be shorter than the feet. Hold the feet in too. But I'm going to see how much I would need. So I've taken gold and slivers and slivers are easier to work with when you're doing the armature because they come in strips and you can just roll them over onto the pipe cleaners. It's really easy and it really sticks well and then you can just felt it down a bit get it in, in securely so rolling some wool around the whole body around the arms and the legs and I've taken little bits at a time I haven't taken big chunks of wool, just little shreds at a time so it gets really stuck to the pipe cleaner. Now I'm adding more body to it. Uh, the thighs so it's going to be more wool down the bottom because you have to shape the body to add more wool to it and the feet are going to be chunky as well so you can make it as flat as you want You can see the body is done and I'm adding more to the feet and I want them big and round so they look cute. I'm adding little wool at a time. I'm folding it down and shaping it so I want them round from the front.
be bad anymore or until you're happy with them you can make them more chunkier if you want making fat ribbon in the same way around the arms but the arms are not going to be that big so you just have to have the rounded edges Adding over to the rear side because I want it to be chunky. So you can just keep shaping it as you desire. It's always good to have a sketch ready first or a reference picture so you know where you're going with the project. I did more wool and then wrapped it around the front as well so it makes uh, the chest a bit chunkier. Now I'm shaping the thighs, so I'm just building a little wool into a round shape and then I'm attaching it and folding it down, shaping it with the needle so they look like the thighs. I have to attach the head, I have to make a hole because I haven't left any fluff at the end so I'm going to make a hole and get the wire through and then I'm going to felt it all around I'm going to attach some wool around it too to get it all secure and from the in place Making the lower part of the mouth. Just cut some wool down and stabbing it.
putting her wool around the neck so the head is really secure. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened with the light. So I'm adding more wool to shape the arms just like I did with the thighs. I'm making a, a brown nose. I use discarded brown wool for it, and uh, I want it to have a cute look. And it's not realistic, so I'm going to give, giving it a big nose. I feel the head is looking a bit smaller so I'm adding more wool to it. Adding little shreds of black right at the edge of the plastic eyes just to give it more shape. And this way it won't be just round, it will be slightly tapered look to the eyes. So I'm getting the black hole right into it with the finer needle. Now I'm going to shape the ears and I'm using coral wool for them because uh, I want a white bunny so I'm using the coral wool and then I'm going to add the white wool on top. So just similarly sized wool and I'm shaping it into a ear and the other one I can just put on top and draw a line with the needle so I know that both the years are going to be of the same size. So I'm using merino top and very little uh, shreds of very light pink adding that with a uh, with, um, very fine needle and don't have to poke it too much so it goes through to the other side just lightly felt it down
I've used uh, the hair iron and flattened them up using the hair iron and the hair straightener and so they're really smooth now I'm adding white merino top and the shade was called lightning and I got it from world of wool it's really soft and it's uh, really white in color so I'm adding that to the ears and I think I'm going to iron them again So I added white uh, top to the both sides of the ear and around the pink. Now I'm just going to place them on the ear using pins. Then I'm going to fill them in place. I'm going to cover the whole penny with the same marina top I used for the ears and taking little bits of wool at a time and I'm going to cover the whole penny with it. It is going to take time but the finished look is really nice and soft. So I've taken a fine needle and I'm going through all over so to get a smoother finish but it takes a lot of time and patience but if you enjoy needle felting you'll enjoy this process. Giving it a little blush with tiny shirts of pink that I used for the ears as well. I'm going to give it a deal. Just felt some merino top and just making it a bit bushy. I 
the tops are in one direction you can just mix them up card them with your hands I'm making little eyebrows with light brown color So this is done now, hope you liked it and it's really easy to make. Thank you very much for watching. I've given it a little ribbon, you can add a flower if you want on the forehead, but the ribbon looks good too. Thank you for watching.